I want to break up with you. And I'm pregnant. What? Who's... Is everything okay? Actually, I left the car key inside and now the car is locked. My name is Yuki Nakagawa, a businessman working at a publishing company. Despite the busy work, I enjoy it. And in my personal life, I have a fiancé, close friends, and live each day to the fullest. Until today. What? I'm saying, I want to break up with you. B but why? The woman apologizing in front of me right now is my fiancé, Yoshiko Futamata. Yoshiko and I have known each other since college. Kako is quiet and reserved, but when it comes to her hobbies, her eyes light up. I was drawn to her personality and I asked her out. Today, Yoshiko, who is usually reserved and doesn't ask to go out on a date, surprisingly invited me for a meal and I was overjoyed. But as we sat down, she suddenly made this statement. I was shocked by her words. I'm sorry. So, what's the reason? We've already set the date for the wedding. The reason is me, right? Huh? Kazuki? As I tried to ask Yoshiko for the reason, for some reason, a familiar voice came from the next seat. When I looked over, there was Kazuki Namikawa, a close friend from university and also Yoshiko's friend. We were in the same club at college and the three of us clicked right away. Kazuki's personality was sometimes not serious, but his presence always brightened the atmosphere and made the time spent together enjoyable. Even when we started working, there were times when the three of us hung out together. For me, both Yoshiko and Kazuki were precious and irreplaceable people. Why is Kazuki here? Well, isn't it obvious? To have a meal with my girlfriend. Girlfriend? Oh. That's right. When I say girlfriend, I mean Yoshiko. <laughs> well, we're getting married soon, so she's practically my wife. <laughs> Why such a thing? I'm sorry, and... I'm pregnant. What? Who's... Don't you get it? She's pregnant with my baby. I'm sorry. I was feeling lonely. Just because of that? Wow. That's a pretty harsh thing to say. Well, wasn't it your fault to make her feel lonely? <sighs> True. It had been a month since Yoshiko and I last met. I had a vague sense that a gap was forming between Yoshiko and me as work entered the busy period. But why with Kazuki? Kazuki, we're friends, right? Friends? Of course not. <laughs> I only became friends with you to get closer to Yoshiko. <laughs> I see. Yoshiko, does that mean you're marrying Kazuki instead of me? Yes, that's why I invited Kazuki-kun here today. I know I'm saying selfish things, but this baby's father is Kazuki-kun, so I want to make a family with him. Well, Yoshiko chose me over you, <laughs> and she's pregnant with his baby too. I don't really care anymore. Alright, I'll break up with you, but you'll have to pay for the cancellation fee for the wedding. Of course, I'll make sure to pay it. <laughs> That's just pocket change for me. I'll pay as much as needed. <laughs> From now on, uh, don't get involved with Yoshiko anymore. Let's go, Yoshiko. Okay. And that's how I lost my best friend and my beloved on the same day. I can't believe a relationship can end like this. I don't remember much about what had happened afterward. I drank alcohol like water stumbled my way home and seemed to have fallen asleep right away. Since I had work the next day, I had no choice but to go to the office. But I was in no condition to focus on work on another day. Huh? That's... Suddenly, I caught my eye on a travel magazine. There were the words Kyoto and the picture of a large shrine. This... I had said I would go with Yoshiko. The shrine on the cover of the magazine was a spiritual site that I had always been curious about. 
and my interest was immediately drawn. That's right. I can't keep moping around forever. If I'm single, then I'll enjoy being single. And with the next day being a holiday, I made up my mind. I went home and got ready for the trip the following morning. Wow, <laughs> this is a long trip. But I'm almost there. I'm so excited. Huh? Just as I was about to arrive at my destination, I saw a car and a woman. What is she doing in the middle of the mountains like this? Is she in trouble? Is everything okay? Huh? Oh, sorry to bother you so suddenly. You seem to be in trouble, so... Oh, thank you. That's very nice of you. Actually, I left the car key inside and now the car is locked. I see. Then let me help you. What? Can you really? Yeah, well, it might take a bit of time though. Please, take your time. When I checked the car, it seemed like the key locked itself. Probably due to a low battery. Yeah, this should be fine. I can handle this. Really? Wow, are you a professional at this? No, no, just a hobby of mine. I have a thing for cars. Actually, I enjoy fixing cars and going on road trips as a hobby. That's why I usually carry tools around with me. It's been a hobby for a long time that I've become capable of repairing cars. Wow, you really opened it! I'm glad I was able to fix it quick. Thank you so much. I live near here, but I was starting to worry I wouldn't get home. Huh, you live near here? Yes, I live near a famous spiritual site just ahead. Oh, really? I'm actually heading there right now. Really? You were here for a sightseeing? Well, I'm sorry I took your time. No, don't worry about it. I just can't leave you when you're in trouble. Thank you. Hey. Yes? If you'd like, I can show you around. Huh. I mean, I wanted to thank you, so would that be okay? Well, I'd be happy if there was someone who would guide me, but... I'm sorry, but this is more of a solo trip, or I'd say, vacation for me. Anyway, I plan to go by myself. Oh, I see. I feel bad, but I need to say no to her. That means you definitely need my guidance. What? Well, you're on your vacation, right? Then, it will be more enjoyable with two people. Well... If you let me guide you, I guarantee you it will be a fantastic trip. How about it? <laughs> okay then, can I ask you to guide me? Well, with an offer like that, I can't refuse. Besides, who said a vacation has to be a solo trip? She has a lovely smile, so exploring together might bring some cheer. Great, let's get started then. Oh, by the way, my name is Yu Hiroshima. Nice to meet you. I'm Yuki Nakagawa. I appreciate you giving me a tour. No problem. Huh? Well, first things first, let's grab a bite to eat. Do you have anything that you don't like? Not in particular. Then I have a recommendation for you. Let's go there. Yes, please. Wow, that looks delicious. Right? The soba noodles here are the most delicious in the world. Oh, is that right? Well then, let's dig in. Mmm, it's delicious. Right? Mmm, it's so good. She's a very emotional and interesting person. Huh? Is there something wrong? I was thinking, you're a very expressive person. Really? I've been told that a lot. Because of that, I'm really not good at playing card games. Yeah, you're definitely not good at that. <laughs> <laughs> While having a meal, we gradually talked about each other. Hiroshima-san is currently working in Kyoto City. She returned to her hometown for some errands. Alright, now that our stomachs are full, shall we head straight to the place we were looking for? Yes. Wow. So this is the place. What do you think? It's amazing. I'm glad we came. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. And your expression has softened completely too. 
I'm relieved. Hmm, what? Well, when we first met, you had a pretty intimidating frown on your face. I thought I got involved with a scary person. Was I making that face without even realizing it? I'm sorry about that. No, no, I just thought you were a kind person. Because you helped me even though you looked so scared. But you mentioned it was a breakation. So I thought something might have happened, and I wanted to make sure you had a good time. I see. I must have been pretty bad for even someone I just met to be concerned. If it's okay with you, would you mind sharing your story with me? Huh? No, I'm not forcing you to. But just talking about it sometimes makes you feel better. In a place like this, I'm sure nothing bad will happen. Well then, would you mind listening to my story? Of course. And then, I told her about what happened to me. After finishing the story, my body naturally relaxed and I felt relieved. Toward the end, I felt like I had a natural smile on my face. Well, that's the story. It's rather embarrassing, isn't it? An adult going on a breakcation due to a breakup. <laughs> How ironic, right? That's... Huh? That's horrible and unforgivable. She cheated on you because she was lonely? To top it off, resulted in pregnancy? Is Yuki-san to blame for making her lonely? No, of course not. Um, um you san Oh, I'm sorry. No, you got mad for me, didn't you? Thank you. Of course, I'm on Yuki-san's side after all. Thank you so much. You look better than you did before. Yes. Good. Now that we're all refreshed, Let's go look around. Let's go. Wow, I really enjoyed it. I haven't been here in a while either, so I had a great time too. I'm jealous of your trip. I want to do it too. <laughs> it's fun going on a trip. I also have a place I want to go. Where is that? I want to go to Kobe and I want to see the million dollar night view with my own eyes. It sounds wonderful. Certainly, seeing that view is definitely worth it. Have you been there before? Yes, actually, I live there now. What? I'm so jealous. Hey, if you're okay with it, would you like me to guide you when you come? Really? Of course. It's my turn to give thanks. Yay! I'll definitely contact you when I plan to go. Thank you for today. Take care and have a safe trip home. You too, Yuki-san. And so, we exchanged contact information and we ended our trip together. And even after the trip, we continued to stay in touch. Long time no see! How have you been? Two weeks after the day Hiroshima-san and I first met, she came to Kobe. That was a surprisingly quick reunion. Yes, it was! Actually, right after we said goodbye that day, I started looking into Kobe. And before I knew it, I couldn't resist coming here. <laughs> really? Ha! <laughs> Let's go out on the meal first, shall we? Yes! That was delicious! Where should we go next? Let's see. Next will... Oh. Huh? Yuki. Hey, it's Yuki. Darn. Hiroshima-san and I were walking side by side after finishing our meal when we were suddenly approached by someone. When I turned around, I unexpectedly encountered the two people I least wanted to see me. Whoa, wait, another girl already? Can't say anything about Yoshiko, ha ha ha. No, she's just my friend. It's okay, you don't need to make any excuses, right Yoshiko? Yeah. I'm saying it's not worth it. No matter what I say, it won't get through to him. Hey. It was then, as I was unsure how to handle Kazuki, I heard a loud voice from behind me. Huh? Whose voice was that? I've been listening to you for a while, but you need to stop messing with him. H Hiroshima-san? The owner of the voice from behind me was Hiroshima-san. 
She was gazing at Kazuki with an expression on her face that I could have never imagined from her, and she slowly approached standing right in front of Kazuki. Looks like you've got a quite a lot to say, huh? And she confronted him with a strong tone. Who, who are you? Kazuki seemed a bit intimidated by Hiroshima-san's threatening attitude, but he managed to say something back to her. However... I'm the best friend of your real fiancé. Huh? What? What? Oh... Yoshiko and I were surprised by the sudden statement, and Kazuki started to panic. Your Akami's... Now you realized it? Akemi said you went away for a company posting and wasn't able to see you for a while. But you made another woman. And to make matter worse, the woman you cheated was ex-girlfriend of my benefactor and someone I'm in love with. What? She's in love with me? No, th this is not... What? Don't tell Akemi. Of course I will. I can't let someone like you marry her. Not to mention... You're hurting Yugi-san. I will forgive that no matter what. Kazuki-kun, is this true? Yoshiko, wait. You're the only one that I love. Regardless of personality, I chose you because you took me very seriously. I'm sorry, but I can't trust you anymore. No, wait. Yuki-kun, and to your companion, I apologize. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Yoshiko. Well, then, I'll just go. Oh. Yuki-san, please go. What? But... There's something you want to tell her, right? This is your last chance. Thank you. Oh, I'm heartbroken too. Things doesn't go as I expected. Huh? Yuki-san? But why? Huh? Well? No, I thought I can't keep Hiroshima-san waiting, so I came back quickly. Huh? No, it's not that. I th thought you got back together with her. Huh? No, I didn't. Why? I'm in love with you, Hiroshima-san. What? I was drawn to Hiroshima-san's emotionally expressive side, and the ability to genuinely get angry for someone else. Ever since we met in Kyoto, I've been in love with you. Will you go out with me? Huh? But then, what were you doing when you went after your ex-girlfriend? Oh, I just wanted to say I forgive her. And I already have someone special in my life. So I told Yoshiko to not worry about me. I see. So, um... Yes? Will you answer my... Uh, yes, of course. I, I love you too. And this is how our relationship began. Afterward, Kazuki not only faced a broken engagement, rumors spread at work that he had been cheating, so he resigned voluntarily. It seems he's been changing jobs frequently while making alimony payments. Yoshiko returned to her parents' home and, along with her parents, is preparing for the childbirth. And for us... Mmm, I knew it! The soba here is the best! Living a joyful life every day with the emotionally expressive you. A person who constantly betrays others will be left with nothing in the end. Yuki-kun who sincerely faces anyone will experience many happy moments in the future.